back to Let's Play Lego Batman. This is the Phantom Safety Pin. This time we're gonna go into the sewers. I don't like sewers. Sewers are gross. Icky places, sewers. So. Oh. Hello, me coughing in the middle of the audio. Anyway. Now we're gonna chase uh, Killer Croc and Penguin into the sewers. Yep, another sewer level. And really, this level is not too bad. The mo the majority of it comes from stud collection, really. Um, it's it's not too bad if you don't do a bunch of stud collection, which I'm not going to. So to get across some of these obstacles, we are going to have to switch into our bio suit, which begs the question: Why on earth is there toxic goo in the sewers? Who just dumps toxins into the sewers? Oops! <laughs> Whoops! I killed Batman. Whoops! I just doomed Gotham City. We're not gonna come we're gonna come back for that in a bit. We need the splody suit for that. And to get the splody suit, we gotta go over here, push this button. Push all the buttons. Go through the chute. And hit that little panel over there. This little panel will give us a box to build, and once we build that box and push it, inside should be the components for the splody suit. As you can see. Go change your suit, Batsy. Your new, your old one's filthy. You've been crawling around in sewers for God's sake. Careful not to fall on that goo on your way back. Getting this stuff. I was lining up my jump there, as you could see. And we're gonna blow up this box. Inside this box are studs and a can clue. I almost called that a canister for five seconds. My bad. That's a clue. Get a clue, Phantom. Get a clue. Now we're going to blow up these boxes. And in these boxes are the components for a grapple pad. And that grapple pad will take us up here. Now you might think that purple go over there is toxic and dangerous. It's not. You can walk over that. You just can't walk over the green stuff unless you're Robin or a character that can actually survive toxins. Now we got to get Robin up here. Let's get him up here. Walk down here, build the ladder. Let's go, Robin, old boy. Walk across this purple goo. My question is, what is that purple goo? Do the people of Gotham just eat a lot of, drink a lot of great Kool-Aid or something? <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally forgot which button was fight for a second. That was not one of my stellar moments. Pick up uh, that stud we lost and beat up some bad guys. You may notice that we lose actually more money than we gain. Oh no, chlorine gas. But we do actually lose a little money, a little more money than gets thrown out by the stud value when you die. Um, yeah, that's normal. That's that happens. And it's kind of a penalty. Basically, you lose about a thousand studs each time. Thousand one hundred studs each time you die, which. Isn't too bad, but if you're low enough on uh, money on studs, you will lose all of your studs. No, stand on the button, Batman. Come on. There we go. No more chlorine gas. No more poo gas. Nobody likes poo gas. I'm gonna pull these levers. We can open the door, and now we can walk through. Yay! Through this marvelous door, we have. Some reticules to hit. Let's do that. Well, I guess those aren't really reticules. Those are targets. My bad. Targeticules. Reta targets. Reta target sounds like some sort of futuristic thing. Activate the retic target and reverse the polarity of the neutron flow, Robin. I'm gonna run over here. And as you can see, we need Batman for this. He has to blow this up. This place is about to blow. Oh, 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 oh. No, but for the record, I do not like ketchup. Before you ask. Now that we got that purple gunk drained out of it, yeah, you can't you can't walk in that purple gunk because it's too deep. But can you you can walk on the purple waterfall gunk earlier? I don't get it either. Walk back up this ladder. It's gonna do that now. There is a thing to pull, and that'll pull put the water back in so we can jump across. So we can jump around, you know? And yeah, we gotta wait for the lever to pull back before we jump. Yet another thing to explode, which we shall do now. And yet another chute to build, which we shall also do now. Go, Robin, go! With your bio suit and self. 
So really, this level is pretty straightforward and not too terribly long if you're not going for st a bunch of studs. The stud collection is what takes forever, and it's in one room in particular where it takes forever. So we're not even going to see much of this level until much later. We'll get to see the rest of it in the villain mode level. So, you got another thing to blow up. Another thing to build. No, this whole game thing is building things. This whole game thing, yeah. This game thing, Phantom. You know, this thing called the game. You can play it. You can also grapple in it. We can't get up there right now. Uh, that's a villain-only area. In particular, it's a Joker, Scarecrow, Croc-only area. You're gonna want someone who can double jump in his immune to toxins, and really the only person that can do that is Joker, so that's really a Joker-only area. So that's really the only time you will see a Joker-only area. That, yeah, outside of the Joker levels, that is. If you double jump enough in here, you can break these by double jumping, which is what I'm trying to do here, as you see. Yet another villain panel we can't do anything with. Gonna break this box. Come on! There we go. Third time's a charm. This box inside, we find the pieces for a button. Gonna push the button. Push the button. And yet another canister for us to uh, build the contents of, which happens to be a lever. Lots and lots of lever pulling this, uh, this video. Oh no, a goon! A goon! What will I do? How will I ever be a match for a single goon? Oh no! Oops, I didn't make it all the way over. Oh well. Yeah, that gap is just too small for- just too large, rather, for Batman to cross. Yeah. Nice job dodging that bullet, Batsy. You truly are amazing. Gonna run through here. And, uh, this raft area is unique to the, uh, hero segment. The villains can't get here. Nice slowdown there, uh, game. Nice slowdown. And once again, we can't open that, uh, big, uh, set of handles on the wall because, again, we need to strength the user. Climbing up this ladder. Blow up this box. Build the target acules inside. Hit the target acule. Come on. And a canister. You may notice there's a blue switch on the wall over there. We can't do anything with that right now. That switch, uh, we need a blue key for, and we don't have the blue key yet. That comes much later. You'll see it in the free play mode. No, why doesn't this just lift up a ladder instead of making us go down and build it? That's so annoying and tedious. Why would you do that, game developers? That doesn't make much sense whatsoever. Up you go. Robin kind of has a sassy little walk, you notice that? It's amusing. Maybe because he's a younger person. Push the button. Open the grate so Batsy can walk through. And now we have some stuff to blow up, so it's Batman's turf. Blow up this stuff. Feel the uh, lever. And it'll open up this big thing. This big grate, which, as you can see, we need to blow up something underneath. It'll only take a quick second. There we go. Go down. And once again, a Robin-only zone. That's the nice thing about these later levels. They do become a lot more equal with how Robin and Batman get used. To the point that you're literally switching between Robin and Batman half the time. Like, pretty much equally the whole time. Yeah, you want to turn that waterfall off because otherwise it will kill you. I guess it's a really high pressure waterfall. Or maybe Batman and Robin are just really, really allergic to poo water. Poo water, as my siblings would say. Yes, yeah, so my siblings are incredibly bizarre people, and we will say no more about it. Walking through, you can see we are in an area, and there's a cold key switch over there which we can't get to. Blow up the door! And you don't need to pull that lever, that's why I don't pull it. Um, all it does is lower that platform so you can get down to the other level, but you don't need to. Um, the only thing over there is there's a Joker card behind a gold panel, there's... I believe some studs, and there's some stuff you can collect, but we can't even get to those anyway, so we're not going to even go over there. Now I'm going to hit these target reticules, which will send us a nice little canister, so we can build a grapple pad, so Batman can get up where he needs to go. And 
round up we get. More stuff to blow up. Interestingly enough, standing right next to those bombs doesn't do anything. You would think it would knock off a chunk of health, but nope. Seems very odd to me that that doesn't do that. And we are almost ready to go face Killer Croc. He's actually right in the next room. All we have to do is build this grapple pad and get over the two levers over there so we can all uh, go beat up Killer Croc together. So, wait for Robin. There you are. Pull the levers. Up we go. It's fighting time, and we're in a jail. Hello, jail. This is the only time you see anything resembling a jail in this game. The only other- I mean, Arkham Asylum isn't really a jail. I guess it sort of is. And as you can see, Killer Croc's strength-using character. Yes, this level will unro unlock Killer Croc for you to use. Yeah, unrock Killer Killer Croc. <laughs> unrock. Winnel, winnel, rockster, dinner. Anyway. I speakish English, anyway. Uh, Killer Croc has an interesting pan pattern. Um, you beat him up a couple times, he'll go over, he'll break a wall out, you'll beat out up some goons, and then Killer Croc will come back down and you'll beat him up some more, and he'll do this about three times. And here he's again. <laughs> Yay! He landed right on top of Batman, wow. <laughs> and here's an intro to some guys we haven't met yet. Joker goons. Uh-oh. Yeah, the Joker goons appear early. I don't know why that is. I guess these two guys are failed Joker goons. Wow. I thought the Joker would have killed those goons. I like to imagine they're the two goons that show up later in the Joker's level cutscene. Here's Killer Croc telling us where to find the penguin. Because Killer Croc is a big old tattletale. And that's it. Level complete. Subtotals up there. We've got no mini kit canisters. But that's okay. We don't need to get all the canisters right away, do we, guys? Let's take it slow and easy. Let's go. Let's take it down slow and easy. Well, that just about does it for the sewers. And next time, we will head to Arctic World. See you then, guys.